I'm Dennis Kubota. Welcome to the DTI YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a tool. The tool is called the Reverse Fishbone Diagram. This tool is specifically used to look at the areas that would be affected by a change in your company. If you have SMS, you're required to have management of change. So this is just a tool to help you analyze what effects would take place if there was a change. Now we are familiar with the Ishikawa fishbone diagram. It's a cause and effect diagram. Let's take a look at the traditional fishbone diagram. You all are familiar with it, where we have our causes. Uh, we list the five Deming forces, machines, material, methods, manpower, and environment. And then we have our effect. In this case, a luggage cart overturned. And then what we do is we brainstorm specific causal factors that uh, gives us a uh, focus in those particular areas. And as we brainstorm, we come up with our causes. So that's why it's called a cause and effect diagram. Now, in the traditional fishbone diagram, we're looking for causes to the effect. What we're going to do is we're still going to use the fishbone diagram, but we're going to use it in reverse. And what do we mean by that? We're talking about taking the uh, effect and making it the cause. So the reverse fishbone diagram, the cause would be the change. And then the five Deming forces would focus in on how that cause affects those areas. So that's why we call it the reverse fishbone diagram. Let's take a look at an example. All right. You'll notice that the fishbone diagram is a little bit different. We have the cause and the effect is the machines, the material, the methods, the manpower, and the environment. So the cause is going to be the change. I'll give you an example. Let's say we're introducing a new aircraft into our company. In this case, uh, we're going to introduce a uh, aircraft called the Air Tractor AT-802. Then what we do is we brainstorm with our team on what effects we would have. For example, when we introduce a new aircraft, we have to have new equipment, we have to have new manuals, new forms, we have to change our ramp processes, our ramp location hangar space, we need more parking, we need new pilots, we might need new AMEs, uh, and we brainstorm new, in, new training materials and things like that. The, the whole purpose of this diagram is to brainstorm what effects we would have that are being caused by that change. So whatever it is, you're hiring a new pilot, you're repaving a runway, you are uh, buying some new equipment, whatever it takes, whatever changes are being made, all we're doing is brainstorming what effects it would have on our company in those different areas. And um, this is just a tool. And you're familiar with uh, the tools that we have introduced in previous uh, YouTube videos. And always available is our SMS memory jogger for those tools. And you can get that at goldqpc.com or our own website. So I hope this reverse uh, fishbone diagram will help you in your management of change process. And we'll see you in the next YouTube channel.